some of my distance mentors taught me early on, uh, treating the seizure is not the sum total of treating the patient with epilepsy. And the reason why that's important is because 30 to 40% of patients with epilepsy. So before we were talking about psychogenic non epileptic seizures, now we're talking about epilepsy. 30 to 40% of patients with epilepsy have uh, comorbid depression. Uh, a significant number of people with epilepsy also have anxiety. And it's been shown that the depression and anxiety impact the outcomes of epilepsy treatment. So it's important for us as neurologists and psychiatrists, I practice both, it's important for us to not just look at the seizures if we're an epileptologist or a neurologist. It's important for us not to just look at the depression and anxiety if we're a psychiatrist or a neuropsychiatrist. We need to look at how they interact with each other and the impact clinically on our patients. So common neuropsychiatric comorbidities, depression and anxiety, there are others. There are cognitive issues causing some neuropsychological complaints. Um, addressing the whole person of biological, psychological, social, spiritual, that's when we look at the whole person and then that's where we can actually treat the whole person from a holistic approach. So addressing not just the seizures with uh, pharmacotherapy or with surgery or with neuromodulation, but also with psychotherapy, that's another arm in our treatment arm armamentarium uh, along with diet. Uh, so there are a number of different ways to intervene, but psychotherapy could be a way to help address not only the seizures, but the comorbidities in our patients with epilepsy.